or to follow our desire, he says, why? All of this process, Allah wants you to progress into easiness, not into difficulty. It means with Ramadan, we have to start with a positive mind. It is a good news. With Ramadan, we started with Peace. The doors of Jannah are open. Udlifat Jannah to Adnin, O Aydat lil Muttaqin, Qal Rabbi Fadkuluha, Bi Salamin Amini. The poet said this Jannah is drawn closer to us. Prepare for the people of Taqwa. My Lord said, Enter into Jannah with peace, with tranquility. This Ramadan is a Jannah for us. Ramadan is the man the Prophet والسلام, reminded the believers that this man has 11 brothers and being alive in it will help you through the other 11 men. I know there is hardship everywhere and I will not talk about it because this is the beginning and we want to tell anything and anyone, stand far away, a bit far, less between me and the sun. I want to see the sunlight. I know it is difficult to go through a pandemic, but it is a struggle to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know it is difficult to ignore the news that going around to face Ramadan, but we have to. Because our Iman will be tested. And any life that's not examined is not worthy living. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Alif Lam Mim Ahasiban Nasu An Yutrafu An Yaqulu Amanna Wa Hum La Do people think just because they are believers and have faith, they will be exempted from the examination, from the trials. No. This is a proof to see if you are tested servant of Allah or not. I know it is difficult to have two mumtis in this difficult country to live as a believer. Two mumtis who will say, I'm the grand mufti. But we all in our depth we know who is the Grand Mufti. And it is time for everyone to learn to say no, because we are the only one who will pay the consequences of saying yes. Ramadan is about that. We can be a Mufti, no problem. We have many Muftis in Australia, but they never challenge the Grand Mufti. It's a political one can represent the Muslims in this country in politics way. So we can tell any politician, this is our leader. He represents all of us. If you touch him, you touch us as well. We are united under him. That was the purpose. But it is a test for us. We end up having two. And we don't know what answer to provide to the young people. It is a test. We walk in darkness to hunger to the light. We swim in the mud, not because we want to, but to keep our head above the mud. We will go through hardship. I know it is hard. Not to be able to decide when is Ramadan, but we know what to decide when we know Islam and when we know the words of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Your leader is responsible and he is authorized by Allah to guide you to the right way. If he doesn't, he will pay for this. So we are not confused as long as we know who is our leader. I know it is hard to ignore the bailing down of the Quran. The schools that produce a lot of harvest in this town. 
taught by a woman who had memorized her statement when her reading her uh, amen. Talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma inni istawda'tuka qalbi fala tadakfihi makaran li ahadin siwa. Oh Allah, my heart is yours. My whole heart is yours. And don't put any room in it for anyone except you. And she produced, and now that organ is burned down. And the Quran is burnt. I know it is hard. It is hard to come back from Umrah to see that my teacher's Quran class from which I learned is burned down. I just visited Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam, and my parents rewarded me by sending me to go to Umrah. But when I came back, I got the news that my Quran class is burned down. I'm talking about Mu'az. A young boy who struggled for seven years to end up becoming a hadith. And I remember the struggle of the family. We can burn the Quran, we can burn the masjid. This masjid was burned, this room, it was a library. And half of my books was burned down, it's gone. And the hall was burned, but it is back. The only thing you cannot burn and destroy is the Quran. Why? Because Allah said it. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. This is something we have revealed and we are in charge to protect it. So you can burn it, you can cut it into pieces, but this shows your behavior. I know it is hard, but let us focus. And all we can say to our sister, you are not greater than Aisha. She was accused by adultery and her husband told her in kunti asabti dhanban fastaghfirillah wa in kunti lam tusibi dhanban fasayubarriukillah if you did something wrong do it the part if you didn't Allah will prove you innocent time will put us in the right court all you need to say wa ufawwidu amri ila Allah inna Allah khabasirun bil ibad but we move on with our pain and focus on the good news. What is the good news? Ramadan. What Ramadan is all about? It is about going through the process of habits that will give birth to the second nature. That's what Ramadan does. It is about becoming free and having a clear mind. That's what Ramadan does. Ramadan is about a life of simplicity and independence and trust. We learn how to be trustworthy in the month of Ramadan. We learn how to live a simple life. Simple life means food is no more than medicine. We take it only when we are sick. Eating is not a hobby or a lifestyle. And when we live a simple life, we will become so rich because food, food will not be focused on and money will not be spent a lot on it. And also, we become independent. Simple life will lead to becoming independent because you will not owe other people to live. And we become free. Ramadan is about disciplining our desire and becoming a patient human being. Ramadan is examination for our life to see if it is worthy or not. Ramadan is a path for us to go up or a path for us to go down. Because the paths to go up and down are one and the same. It depends which one we transform it into. It is a great man but for the great people. It is a month of the growth, but only for those who want to grow. Ramadan, liman arada la akhirata wa sa'a laha sa'ayaha wa huwa mumi. Ramadan is for those people whose aim is the akhirah, but the dunya is the way, not the aim. For those, wa sa'a laha sa'ayaha, and they do anything in Ramadan to win Ramadan. We may live in Ramadan, but we don't do what 
one supposed to be in Ramadan, so not for us. Wahua Mu'min, Ramadan is a university that pro pro produces a faculty. We end up in it, but with Iman. If you don't have Iman, Ramadan will not be useful, but also it will become a burden. But Allah said, it is not. You read the law to become a Yusuf, or you read to become a Yusuf. Ramadan, Liman Ofa Makoma Rabbi, Wanahan Nafsa Anil Hawa. Ramadan is for those people who are afraid of the most dangerous incident waiting for us in the future. The day we leave this dunya and meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we think of that day, I will use Ramadan to forbid myself from following the desire. Ramadan for those people. لِمَنْ خَوْفَ مَقَوْمَ رَبِّي وَنَحَ النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْحَوَىٰ In the month of Ramadan, we tell ourselves, no, no, and no. Why? Because we only submit and bow down to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan is for the one who will come to know that it is time for me to purify my heart. So we should not fight. When is the first day? It is guaranteed by a, a divine leadership. We should not fight. Eight raka is better or 20. No. It is all about, I want to purify my heart. I want to win taqwa this time. <coughs> Abu Yazid al-Bastati said in one of his saying, Maratu bidirin fi birahibatun fakultu laha halhuna makanun tahirun usalli fi faqalat li I passed by a nun and I asked her, is there any clean place in here where I can pray? And she said, clean your heart and pray anywhere you want. Once we clean our heart, then this place will become a masjid. But if we don't, it will be the masjid that will harm me. Because I went into this place, in the company of shaitan who promised and threatened us, I will come to them and hunt them down in the midst of your street, street path. I will chase them and lie in wait for them right in the midst of your street path. The masjid is a street path. The Quran is a street path. Ramadan is. But shaitan can play games because we refuse to chime him up. The Prophet wasalam, told us to chime him up in the month of Ramadan and to aim the open door of Jannah. Let us open Jannah door for us ourselves in Ramadan and close the doors of Jahannam. So Ramadan is about the purification of the heart. And we can see what Ramadan does when we are fasting. We filter our mind when we think. We don't think wrong no more. We filter and we test our system, the way we think, the way we understand and the way we talk. We filter our words and we say only what is approved. And the beautiful young boys at the back is focused and don't talk to one another. It is Ramadan, it is Friday football and the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam uh, warned us not to fail getting our reward on Friday, taken away from us. Ramadan is about being a true warrior, and a true warrior fights, not because he hates who is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. You don't fight because you, you hate the person, but because I love what is behind me. Ramadan is behind me. I will fight anyone who wants to disturb me. It could be my friend who wants to take my time in Ramadan and turn it into fun. No, I'm a true warrior. I will fight you, not out of hate, but out of love of what Allah put in my hand. Ramadan, the month in, in which we remember to love the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam more. The one who told us, People will come after me and they wish to 
to see me, and they wish their wives see me, and they wish their children see me. I know. The believers wish I was Muhammad alayhi salatu was the teacher for my daughter and for my son. He was the merciful teacher. He spoke about a merciful God, Allah, and his love was mercy to mankind. Now we talk about a merciful God, but with hard hearts. <coughs> merciful Allah, but hard Muslims. And we cannot find that merciful teacher who will go beyond your fault and look into your name and what made you make that fault. Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam, he was talking about us. And many of you who is saying, I wish I sit with my family in front of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam to take the fresh Islam direct from his mouth. But we cannot wish because it was the Sahaba's destiny to walk with the men, and the test on them was hard. And we are afraid if that was hard, we may end up becoming hypocrites, because it was really hard to be a Muslim that time. And truly, one of the people who really loved the Prophet Al-Qa'qa, Al-Awsi, his friends came to him and said to him, Tell us something that will make us fall in love of going to Jannah. He didn't read to them, Inna lil muttaqina mafaza hada ikhu wa anaba wa kawaiba atroba wa kashan dihaqa. No. He didn't recite to them, Mathal al Jannah illati wuid al muttaqoon fiha ma fiha anharum mimma in wail. He didn't read that to them. He said to them, Fiha Rasulullah. The Prophet Muhammad is in death. Do your best to go to the guest for him. That is the best. This is what we call a true love. No wonder Omar bin Khattab gave up his life after he knew that a true love is when you are ready to love, to die for Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. Ramadan should be a link for us between us and Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. Ramadan should be a season in which we cling to say, I want to see Allah, the one who keep on sending his blessings to me down here, and I keep on sending up to him my sins. The one who gave me heart, walisan and washafatayn, and tongue to talk and two lips, and eyes and everything. The one who covered the ugly bit of my life and exposed the shining bit of my life, and people only see that and they call me a good person. Oh Allah, Due to you covering my sin and my faults and showing to the world the only shining part of me, people think I am a good man. But only you know how bad I am unless you forgive me. Ramadan is a time to filter our mouth and to correct our relation and to become patient. And what is patience? I say, as sabru huwa an tahmisa fi udunil hayat wa taqul Lan and honey, Madame Allah Humai. You whisper in the ear of life and say to life, I will never bow. I will never submit or surrender to you as long as Allah is with me. And Ramadan, Ramadan is a season for us to make sure Allah is with us. Araka siya damai, shima to kasabru, amalil hawa, nahyun alayh wala amru. I see you tears are so stubborn, they never come out. We never see, see you complaining or crying. How come? Until driven by emotion, by desire. No, I'm not driven by emotion or desire. I'm driven by faith. And faith, faithful people, when they cry, they cry in depth only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Ramadan is a season for us to look for ourselves. Young people, 
We pray to Allah to live and protect elderly people. Elderly people don't feel bad because you are old, but be grateful because many of the young people you are looking walking around. I wonder if they will have the privilege to live up to the age where you are. You have worshipped Allah until your backbone is bent. And now you are leaning down, not out of weakness, but to put the seed of the future. So when you are born, that will be your legacy. Ramadan Mubarak to all of us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free us from the shackles of sins in this man.